Well, the Great Falls High wrestling teams are no stranger to success at the AA level with seven state titles in the school's rich history. But the Bison haven't cracked the podium at state in each of the past three seasons. Tom Wiley tells us why that could change in a few weeks, thanks in part to two talented sophomores. Sometimes in practice, sophomore Elijah Davis takes on multiple opponents at once. That's just kind of how I warm up sometimes as a joke. It's fun to mess around with the freshmen. It takes a few of them to take him down because Davis is strong. He's the anchor of the Bison wrestling team at 182 pounds and sometimes has to move up for duels. I practice a lot over the summer, but I had a lot of things I need to clean up. And then getting into competitions has just gotten better throughout the year. Davis was injured for much of last year and didn't make it to state, so the first time many people heard his name was a few weeks ago when he claimed a title at the Jugbeck Rocky Mountain Classic. Oh, it was kind of surreal. I was going up against a kid that I lost to, and I really just did everything that we practiced, and it worked. Davis hopes it's just the start of things to come. He didn't start wrestling until he was in seventh grade, but he got good really quick. I wrestled middle school, 7th and 8th grade, didn't really travel around the world or anything like that, but he did start traveling with us and, and his work ethic really is just making that rise very fast and, uh, and he has talent and strength and toughness and, and work ethic. It's not just winning that motivates the talented sophomore. Davis lost his father to a heart ailment just over three years ago before he ever stepped on the mats. I don't think about him before every match, but when we get to Fargo and Nationals, I think that it'd be cool if he was there. He turned to wrestling as a release. In a way, yeah, as kind of more of a way to cope through everything. So there's no other sport that's really as fair, and you do your work and you don't count on anybody else, and you go out there and you compete. And Davis isn't the only talented sophomore in the Bison wrestling room. Heavyweight Ethan DeRouche is his training partner. Pleasure, Davis. Make I made him better. He's making me better. The big man also claimed a title at the Jug Beck, which surprised many, including himself. Oh, it was the first time for me winning something like that in high school. Got confidence to be able to wrestle how I am right now. But it didn't surprise his coach. And Ethan is just a talented son of a gun, and uh, and I hope that people who know wrestling can appreciate this. But you don't always find uh, find big kids with a great work ethic like him, or you don't find big kids that are athletic like him. And he's both. It's rare for underclassmen to find quick success in the heavier weight classes, but the Bison have two of them, and they share the same goals. I want to be a state champ this season, but as a team-wise. Uh, trying to make in the top three teams. I really want to win state this year, and I really want our team to place top three. Tom Wiley, MTN Sports. Great Falls High closes the regular season tomorrow with a crosstown clash at CMR. The Bison have won 11 straight duels with their Electric City rival. That's your take on sports. We'll be right back.